lot of women, they're looking for men to have something, but then they don't, don't necessarily have anything. Like, like would be Simone. She wants someone who doesn't really have a nine to five. Like, he's an entrepreneur. And okay, now she's an entrepreneur. Okay. But was she always an entrepreneur? And there's a lot of women that are agreeing, like, oh, yeah, I need a nigga that got a business and this and that. But I'm like, what the fuck do you have? <laughs> Period. What do you have going on? And I think that's, that's something that, like, I, that's why I, I can't really vibe sometimes with those environments. Like, when I'm going out and I'm seeing it's a lot of women looking for the ballers. But I'm like, but are you a baller? You know what I'm saying? You looking for the Audis, the BMWs, the Porsches, but you driving a regular Hyundai. And it's no judgment for your Hyundai, but I'm just saying... Why you can't look at the man with the Honda? Women think when men have a certain amount of money, a certain amount of security for them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, if she gets pregnant or something like that, she knows she good. You yeah, know, yeah. I think that's why some women do it. My body can get me what I want and take me places, take me where I need to go. Mm -hmm. And some women have been successful with it. Yeah. But I do think it's wrong to use anybody for money, even men. But there are men out here that do the exact same thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they use their pain pain to get what they need, need mm -hmm. rather he ugly or not you know what i'm saying That's and true. and like you said well, a lot of women they want oh i need a him with a have not uh an entrepreneur whatever okay you want that that's your preference that's on you mm -hmm. but don't look down on the people that have a nine, nine to two five, five. Yes. because those are the people that are making you who you are today right but then look at this though boom that's a mm -hmm. word too by the way that's a word but <laughs> but i'll say this though just because someone got a nine to five why do you equate that to being broke or Ooh. less than i mean there are times that motherfuckers that got nine to five that's making a quarter of a million dollars a year you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You would call a nine to five being a doctor, right? Or being a lawyer, right? Yeah, they work 12 hours. They, right, they work in, so, some of them motherfuckers work in 60 hours a week. Yes, everybody wants somebody that can fit their lifestyle and you want to manifest <laughs> that man or whatever. But at the same time, you got to realize just because he fits your lifestyle does not mean he's meant for you. Right. Maybe he's too busy with his own CEO yes. company, his own business to where he can't make time for his for wife you. because she's always out on the road trying to make money too. Mm -hmm. And so now you don't even have a relationship, but yeah, you guys are roommates now. Right. Co-parents and things like that. Yeah. You're not even falling in love anymore, but yes. you're distant now. Yes. For real. Yes. You yes. know? Yeah. I think that's definitely a double standard. Yeah. I think yeah. It's definitely a double standard because a lot of times women are looking for men that are established or have something yes. for themselves and i'm just like but y'all don't have that yourself like i don't look for that in a man i look for a man that has stability or i won't say i look for the man but i like a man who would have stability in his life i mean and, and that's where i'm at right now like that's just where i'm at right now i'm building my own business you right. know what i'm saying but how can i look to a man and expect him to have all of this if i don't have it exactly you know what i'm saying right. i drive a regular old 2004 toyota sienna you know what i'm saying i got me a regular car why am i gonna diss somebody or not look at somebody because they have the same thing that i have i gotta always have somebody above me i think that's a double standard because mm -hmm. it's weird it's like you it's okay for you but why is it okay there be women that don't have no damn motherfucking car they don't even <laughs> have no car Girl. they don't even got no car and y'all looking for this nigga with a BMW. Oh, he only got a this or a that. At least he got a car, girl. You ain't even got nothing. Girl, I have, uh, girl. Shoot, you know who else does that? People, friends do that to you, too. Mm -hmm. They won't even be your friend because you're not driving something cute or because oh. your weave ain't laid or because girl. you ain't wearing the latest trends. Yes. We can't be friends, but yes. you cool, though. You cool, but We can't be friends. Yeah, see, I, you I, don't I, fit my social status. Like, I'm good. How dare you? Yeah. Now... I see when I become up there, when we become up there, I should say, mm -hmm. I don't mind keeping my same friends that I had that was there with me when I was wearing the same <laughs> shoes, the same shirt, almost yes. every two, three videos. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I need those I people. I want those friends. That was rocking with me, period. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I don't want these friends all of a sudden, oh, because I got millions of dollars. Now you want to be in my face. Yes. Baby. Yes. That's baby Hollywood. girl. That's Hollywood. As they someone was that, like, no. Baby girl. That, For real. That's her saying. That's, no, that's real. <laughs> oh, that's her saying. I mean, but that's real shit though, because I know like there, I, I know somebody who she is kind of like an Instagram model. I'm not going to say her name, of course, but you know, she seems like a really nice person. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember, you know, if you look at her from the outside in, she looks, looks like, oh God, her and her friends are so cool. I remember when it looked like I was on the brink of doing some things. I, you know, had a little bit of money. I was Period. around a certain amount of people and she was all up on me, always calling me, always like, oh my God, really? I love you. Let's get matching tattoos. Woo, 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 woo. Girl. He ain't even my best friend. Girl. Fast forward to now where, okay, I'm just, I, you know, I went through a downtime. 
where I just didn't have nothing. I lost everything, going through divorce, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just regular, regular Golda. You feel me? I'm not mm -hmm. around the celebrities. I'm not right. doing all, I'm me working my normal life. She's too bougie to even follow me on Instagram. Oh no, no. She talking about she only follow people with blue checks. <laughs> but you don't got a blue check. But you don't got a blue I'm check. I was like, you know what? And it's so interesting to see people change up like that. That yes. was one of the biggest lessons because I thought she was cool. I thought she was a friend. And I just think that that is what we live in right now, where mm -hmm. you're so worried about status. But you don't have the status Period. yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And that's how you lose real people in your life. Because those yes. people that you think, I mean, those people that you're downing could be the realest people in your life to actually help push you even further. Yes. You but you, know. you're kicking out the real people. Right. But right. the fake people, they always going to be here and miss. They're going to be there and gone. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to be careful out here, okay? Yes. Especially trying to make the double standard things, you know, even with the men, you know, oh, he... He better do this or he better do that. Okay, okay, that's cool. But yeah. he might have a business mindset to where he can actually help you with your brand, like mm -hmm. that book that just came out that, you know, they said that you stole. Oh, you know, there's the, tons of stuff that she stole. They oh, say, they you know, with the, they got it all everywhere. Yeah. So maybe you might get a man that works another father that's actually good with writing, actually good at typing or mm -hmm. something, and that can actually mm -hmm. probably work for you right. as his exactly. woman. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And I mean, he, that's real talk. And he's bringing more to and the table than any drug dealer or rapper could probably yes. ever bring to you. Yes. Since that's, that's your That's preference. your preference. <laughs> Girl, because I'm sorry. A lot of times when they say entrepreneur, we know uh -huh. what that means. Girl. You know what that means. That a means rapper, a drug dealer. I'm in promotion. I breed dogs. I'm a party promoter. And not to doubt, no, but we got some real not good party down, promoters. Yeah. We got some good party promoters that are for real party from like mm -hmm. the Bachis and all them like that. They good. They doing their thing. I'm talking about the ones that promote and you did them hole in the wall clubs. And you be like, bro, you... you but let's be real too. Some women do want a real ass baller promoter type man. Yes, like, but get a real one. Not, not a just killer. a real one. Not just, not, a not just that, but get someone that's actually only focusing on a craft to where if they do go to a club, they're not easily distracted by a fine uh, woman. Mm -hmm. They're not easily distracted by right. drinking and right. partying yes. because you want these entrepreneur ass niggas mm -hmm. that probably don't even have their own life together. Mm -hmm. They like to go on the job to party. Mm -hmm. They go to, yes. the, to the studio to party and cheat on your ass yes. and come back home and kiss you in the mouth like nothing ever happened. Girl. I'm just saying. Yes. Boom. Sheesh. <laughs> Like, I just have to flip the hair on that. That's a whole, because that's real. That's a yeah. whole, right? Like, seriously, mm -hmm. there are so... Ooh, we just got to take a pause Because my that. thing is this. I mean, I love working or whatever. But same if I did get married or something, and my husband is good at what he does, you can work for me. Hell, you know what yes, I'm saying? Work for me. we can work together and do what and we got to do. Right. Let's but hopefully we, we don't do. get a divorce or nothing. But we will make it, you know, make to it where work, it works. It'll split fine if we happen to, but we don't yes. want to. But, but equal partners and stuff, you know. But, yeah, we got to let go of that double standard. That's I mean, right. it's, it's cool to have someone that meets your needs and yes. like okay you want someone who has an entrepreneurial spirit about themselves mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but that man working that nine to five he might have that entrepreneurial spirit but that nine to five is getting him where he has to go before he's an entrepreneur you know we just can't have all these expectations you have to be a nine people. to five before you're yeah, entrepreneur. i feel like we, i feel sometimes. like women we, we be having so many expectations mm -hmm. like he needs to do this that and the third and a lot of times we're not giving that out you know are you but, not even you're not even motivating that man to be that, yes. entrepre that entrepreneur, but you're just staying looking at his status now. Potential is everything. Potential mm -hmm. is everything. Yes. Uh, yes, girl. So if you want a man that works a nine to five, awesome. If you want an entrepreneur, awesome. awesome. No tree, no. no shade. But thank you for tuning in with Kush. And coffee with high heels. And versus style shade. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, boo. Uh-huh. All right.